It was an amazing day for Canadian national team players and Canadian players in general this past week, shining for their respective clubs across Europe, like Alfonso Davies, Jonathan David today in the Champions League, Besiktas, having Atiba Hutchinson, and the likes of Kyle Lairn as well. And then you also saw two Canadian youngsters, rising stars, Simon Collin playing for PSV second side. I'm personally learning about him as I go because he looks to be improving since moving on from the Whitecaps. And we also have Stefan Mitrovic scoring once again for a Siberian first division side. And he has been doing unbelievably, earning himself that January call up to the Canadian national side and becoming that rising star for Canada, which we all knew we needed at attacking midfielder. But we've had an amazing week for Canadian national team players and Canadian players on the rise. And we're going to jump straight into things and talk about it in home and away. My Canadian series, guys. But if you do enjoy any football news or the best football news, be sure to drop a sub and put notifications on. You can name it. All the best news is here. We got transfer news, transfer rumors, done deals, manager movement, reactions, previews, all the best stuff out there. And my series, Home and Away, based on the Canadian national side. Also bringing back a new series, Terrific Teenagers, where I talk about the best teenagers, personally, in my opinion, across the world of football. I'm going to be trying to get one to two episodes out a week for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy that series. Let me know what you guys think about that series down below in the comments. But we're going to jump straight into things, guys. And we're going to talk about the first game that happened this week, and that was the Schicktas Dortmund, where we saw Kyle Lahren was a real workhorse. He played very well. He ran. He pressed well. Kyle Lahren did very well in a game that he couldn't do much, really. A 5-0 loss for the Schicktas. And Kyle Lahren playing 39 minutes, and he got a yellow card, and then playing a full 69 minutes till he got subbed off later. Playing on the left-hand side, a left, left attacking midfielder. He was really working hard when I did watch the game. He did, did track back well. He worked to get the ball back. And later on in the game, we saw D'Souza come off. And we saw Atiba Hutchinson get a solid 8-10 to 10 minutes on the field. Which is good to keep him moving, keep him fresh for the call-up in January. When we do have those massive games coming up for the World Cup qualification. But the bigger games of the day. Bayern Munich of Barcelona, Alfonso frickin' Davies once again getting another assist and getting an assist to another Bayern Munich sensation and that was Jamal Musiala. A great assist from Alfonso Davies running down the sideline and getting an assist to his fellow superstar at Bayern Munich or coming superstar Jamal Musiala and Alfonso Davies is not just a great icon for Canadian fans but he's also a great role model for the players and for the country and showing us why he does it not just for Canada but he also keeps doing it for Bayern Munich and he's been phenomenal here for Bayern Munich once again producing against Barcelona and helping Bayern Munich send Barcelona into the Europa League in a great sensation knocking them down and I will be so excited to see Barcelona in the Europa League because it'll be funny as heck and Alfonso Davies is the man contributing and sending them down but that wasn't the only Canadian in action in the Champions League today. Jonathan David found himself scoring once again. I should just put this on repeat because the man does not stop scoring. Jonathan David scores in a 3-1 win over Wolfsburg, sealing his side's top spot in their respective group in the Champions League over Wolfsburg, Sevilla, and Salzburg. And Jonathan David has now scored three goals and six appearances in the Champions League, scoring as well 11 goals in 17 appearances in Liga, that gives the man 14 goals in all competitions, which is phenomenal for Jonathan David. The man just doesn't stop scoring. He keeps producing on a top, top level. And I know people are talking about Alfonso Davies for Canadian Men's National Team Player of the Year. And you got some people in the Jonathan David camp. It has to be Jonathan David for me. Yes, Alfonso Davies won the uh, Bundesliga. He's won many things for Bayern Munich. He keeps playing at a top level. But you have to look at what Jonathan David's doing week in and week out for Lost Lil. He continues to score. He continues to produce. He continues to do it for a Lost Lil side that are so far down the table that don't have much quality players anymore after getting transferred once they won the league last year. Yes, you can look at Renato Sanchez, Sven Botman, and Kone, who's going to be leaving. And those are just a couple of players. But Jonathan David is the one who's carrying the load and continues to keep scoring week in and week out. And without Jonathan David, I don't know where this Lost Lil side would be. And it believes that Canada has these kinds of strikers now. Jonathan David, Kyle Aaron, Ike Agbo, even Cavallini's there as well. This is beautiful for Canada. As well as Alfonso can play up top. 
Canada Canada is in an amazing position, and we are looking to be in a great position for attacking midfielder now as well. We saw Stefan Mitrovic score once again for his Siberian side in the Siberian first division in Siberia. Yes, I did say Siberia a lot, but of course he is Siberian and Canadian. And of course, like I said last year, in the, uh, in, or like I said last week, in the last week episode of Home and Away, Stefan Mitrovic has accepted a call up in January to come for the Canadian national side. And he has been on crazy form man scored once again like I said this past week and Stefan Mitrovic has been doing fantastically and he is proving why he deserves to earn that cap why he deserves to get a start or a substitute appearance maybe as a U.S. I'd love to see him start or even just come in at halftime against the USA it'd be brilliant to show them something different than they might not have seen bring us some more control in the midfield a bit more attacking player minded player in the midfield someone who can play the pass trigger the counter and he would be brilliant at attacking midfielder against USA. But hands down to Marko Mitrovic as well in the comments. And also, thank you, Stefan Mitrovic. You are doing great for Canada. And I hope you can earn your cap in January. It's going to be amazing to see. And as well, Simon Collin. If you're not a Vancouver Whitecaps fan, you would know about him. As well as very dedicated Canadian fans. I know about Simon Collin, but I'm still learning as I go. The man is playing for PSV second division side. And he scored once again this week. Simon Cullen, I remember when he was at Vancouver and haven't really heard about him since until I saw he scored for PSV. This is amazing seeing two young attacking midfielders for Canada. Of course, Stefan Mitrovic is really the standout player because he is phenomenal. Simon Cullen is up and coming. It'd be great to see these guys get a shot, especially Stefan Mitrovic, and he deserves to earn his cap. And we need to lock him down as soon as possible because he will be our key at attacking midfielder for years to come. But guys, let me know what you guys thought of another episode of Home and Away down below in the comments. What you guys think of Stefan Mitrovic? You guys think he'll earn his ca- uh, his cap? Do you think he'll be locked as a Canadian player? Are you guys excited to see him in the starting eleven coming against USA? Will he be in that? Will he be joining Canada? What do you guys think down below? Let me know in the comments. Also, what do you guys think of Jonathan David's season? Where do you guys think he'll get transferred to? Where will he get moved to in January? Or will it be next summer? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Drop a like, drop a sub, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace!